Well, I'm Kenny Lowry, and today we're going to take a look at what we're going to call the Rock Cairn Fountain. Now, this is a five stack. We're going to offer it in different sizes. We're also going to offer it with a set of three. Uh, but this one is a five stack. You got one, two, three, four, five. Now, we do have this running. It's wet. It's kind of the, the rocks that get kind of darker when they uh, when they get wet. So uh, I can see colors in them though, uh, and I'll try to get up close with the camera. I see rust and gray and brown and different colors like that in it. Now these are, all these rocks are, have been uh, hollowed out to, and you'll be able to see it in the top one. Uh, so on these we have it turned upside down so that it doesn't fill with water. This one here actually fills with water so it's kind of a unique thing too. Uh, I think these rocks would be great to use as a planter too. You could do planters around the side with these rocks. Uh, be really kind of a neat uh, effect to have that kind of this stacked rock look and then some rocks around the base of it uh, to use as planters. Uh, we also have this set on the base here. Now, I don't know how many of these bases we have, but I'll show you that it's actually a fossilized uh, base there. So, you know, if we have it available, we'll, you can ask about that and then we can include that in on, uh, if not, it'll probably be just a gray slate or something like that. But we did come across a couple of these uh, fossilized uh, base rocks here, which is kind of neat. Uh, it's got a nice sound to it. Uh, the water comes out. I hear the water falling up here and it's falling water, falling on water, so it always creates a different sound. Uh, also, it's kind of coming down over each one of these rocks and kind of flares out and drops. Now, you have to be careful of that. You can get quite a bit of splash off a fountain like this because when it comes over and hits that rock and then it kind of comes out, you have to make sure that you want to place it over in the middle uh, so that it's not splashing. You can kind of tilt it a little bit too to get the water to maybe run off more toward the middle to where it's going to splash onto the basin and not outside of the basin. This isn't too bad, but it's something you need to be aware of when you're setting it up. Uh, you can also control splash by the, the amount of water, the plume that you've got. Uh, you can see we've got it, we've got it kind of turned down. Uh, we could turn that pump up and shoot it up higher, and when you do that, you're going to create more splash. Uh, so if you're creating more splash, you need a bigger footprint. So you can go upgrade to a larger basin, or you can do the liner basin install that you see over on the info page. So those are all variables you can ask us about when you're placing your order. And if you want to have that water shooting up higher, we can certainly do that. Just need to redesign the system to accommodate that. Uh, this is a very neat look. I, I love this kind of, you know, that, that kind of art look where people stack rocks. So that's kind of what you're doing here. It's kind of a really neat thing. I know some of the creeks and things that I ride by here uh, out to the Blue Ridge, which is out that way, the people will get into the stream beds and they'll stack these rocks. It's kind of an art form. So right now I'll grab the camera. We'll take a close-up look. Hopefully you get a sense of the sound of it too. Apologize for any road noise you're hearing there. We're out of here next to the busy highway. I think you got a sense of the sound there. I hope you did. And you can see some of that color uh, in the rocks I'm back here on this where it's a little bit brighter. It's kind of an overcast day today. So hopefully you can see some of that. It is kind of dark out here though. And uh, that Remember that fossilized rock, I was at base rock I was telling you about. It's got like fossilized ferns in it. I don't know how many of them we'll have. It's kind of a rarity, but you can certainly ask about that when ordering. Kind of a unique look to it too. As always, if you have any questions about any of our products, you can reach us at 540-948-2239 or email us boulderfountain at gmail.com.